Hey guys, it's Harley Wood. Today we're going to be looking at this messenger bag from Direct Action Gear. I got this bag and one you'll see in the background just recently. I'm going to review both of them starting with this one. And I gotta say guys, from the moment I opened the box on this thing, I, I just had this big smile on my face. The Cordura fabric, the laser cut molly webbing on the front, this is probably I review a lot of uh, ballistic nylon gear. I think Maxpedition, VanQuest, all of the above. This is probably the best quality I have ever seen. Let's get you some close-ups and then we'll get into the bag. Alright, let's start with the material. Like I said, when I first opened the box, I had this immediate smile on my face. Um, it is very rare that you will see a nylon material that is this high quality. It is a 500D, it is real Cordura fabric, and maybe that's the difference. Maybe being real Cordura versus some of the others out there is what makes this so nice. But I mean, everything just looks pristine on the bag. It has this laser cut molly on the front here so that you can attach stuff. However, it is not the straps of Molly that run across the front. So for those of you who want a slightly less tactical look, yet still want the capability to attach stuff, this is the way to go. Beautiful cuts on the Molly there, and you'll see the stitching that runs both top and bottom of each of the slits to, to reinforce so that when you mount stuff there, you run less risk of ripping it out. All right, two very nice buckles on the front here. And they really do think of quite a lot. So you have two Velcro panels here, and you'll notice right on the underside of the flap are Velcro tabs. However, they also come with covers so that you can cover them up if you want to. If you don't, I've, I've been not covering them, and I just take these, put them in the, uh, the holder on the top here, but you can't. When you open the top, you have two nice compartments right here on the front. They're both about the same size, however, they have slightly different uh, configurations. Now inside, I have my toolkit in this one, but as you can see, there's a nice hook Velcro field here. There are retainers so that it doesn't fall and clamshell all the way open. However, you can remove that if you did want it to. There's a nice net in the back here, and then there's a keeper in case you want to attach your keychain. Pouch is about the same on the other side. It folds about two-thirds of the way down as opposed to this one which folds open fully. I have my electrical kit in there, a water filter kit, um, just some ibuprofen. But let's talk about the inside configuration here. There is a nice mesh pocket on the inside. There is a compartment here with a fold-over Velcro top. And then there are pen compartments here. Another keeper and a slot in the back. On the side is another pouch, same molly, laser cut into the side. This one folds about halfway open. In here I have a little holder for my earbuds. I have a backup battery so I can charge my cell phone a few extra times. There is a nice mesh pocket on the inside here, another pocket in the back, plus it's fairly deep in between the two. There is a keeper, and if you see this here, this is actually a continuation of the shoulder strap. So the shoulder strap runs down from the top, comes all the way underneath, and has all this nice box stitching holding it. Runs underneath the bag, there you can see it there, underneath the rubberized bottom so that it's slightly waterproof, around the other side, continuous loop. So adds a lot of extra strength to that strap. On the opposite side, we have a nice water bottle holder. This is a 16 ounce clean canteen. This pouch holds it just about perfect. There is a retainer strap that comes over and Velcros down. It doesn't quite fit with the 16 ounce uh, clean canteen. However, if you had a bottle that was just slightly smaller, you'd have no problem securing it with the strap. There is a... Let's look at the inside of the bag. So there's Velcro 
all the way around, both sides, the front, the back, and in the very, very bottom. So if you wanted to conceal carry and put a holster that connected via Velcro, you could do that with some extra magazines. But in the back is where you actually hold the laptop. Now, this bag is set up to hold a 13-inch laptop in the back here. I have a 15-inch laptop, and hopefully one day soon they will release one that holds the 15-inch in the back. However, the front holds it just fine. All right, let's talk about the price. If this doesn't make you go buy this bag, personally, I think you're a fool. This bag is only $99. I'll post a link in the description below, and I'm also going to post a coupon code for an additional 10% off. Guys, I have not seen a laptop bag of this high quality. Many of you know, if you've been watching the channel, I've been carrying a Vertex Messenger bag for about the past year and a half or two years, and this has now replaced that, which I never thought I would see. It's a very high quality bag, lots of compartments, very functional. The quality is probably some of the best I've seen, and everything that I'm seeing from Direct Action Gear is kind of following suit. In the back here, I have recently replaced my Get Home bag. I will be reviewing this. This is the Direct Action Gear Ghost. Subscribe to the channel and you'll see that review very soon. But guys, if you don't go pick one of these up, especially with that 10% off, I don't even know why you're watching my videos. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.